Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to add a text crawl in Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Now, a text crawl is when text goes across the bottom of the screen like you see on the news channels. It can be used for a stock or for messages or for weather. And it'll look something like this. Let's start this one up. And you can see here that the text is moving across the screen. Now, it's pretty easy to do that in Sony Movie Studio and I'm going to show you the steps starting now. Now, the first thing you're going to need is three video tracks. If you don't have enough video tracks, you can put your mouse in any video track and you can right click and insert video track. But we've already got three, so we're going to work with those. First thing we want to do is we want to put a background image. I have a background image in my project media. I'm going to drag that up here and put it on the background. I'm going to drag that for the length of the video. You notice the image doesn't fill the screen and I can fix that by selecting pan and crop. Right click in the center of the pan and crop and choose match output aspect and it now fits the full screen. Next thing I want to do is to put the text up here. The way I do that is put my mouse on the top text track, come down here to Media Generators. The media generator I want is Legacy Text, and I'm just going to select the default text and drag it up into that top track. Now with the Legacy Text window there, I want to replace the sample text with the crawl text. Now you can either type the crawl text in or paste it in from another source. We're just going to paste that text in. And the way I do that is just control V and it pastes it in. Once I have it pasted in, I select the entire text, I change the font to whatever I want, and change the font size. In this case, I'm going to change the font size to 24. And if I put my mouse over here on the text, I can see that the text is in the center of the screen and there's the size of the text. Uh, I want to change the placement of the text, and the way I do that is I click the placement tab and I come down here and move the text straight down. But you can see that the text is starting in the center of our message instead of the beginning. And the way we fix that is we click the Animate tab. We move our text all the way over to the right so that it's just off screen. And then we put our mouse where we want it to start. And we add a keyframe. And the way we do that is we hit this plus sign right there. So that's a keyframe for the start. As you see, we only have eight seconds on, on the timeline. And we know that to display all this text is going to take a lot longer than 8 seconds. So let's change that to 2 minutes and 10 seconds. When we do that, our timeline is going longer. Now that our timeline is longer, we're going to go way over here to the end of the timeline. We're going to move our text all the way to the left so that it's off screen. And we're going to put a keyframe there. So we have two keyframes. We have one where the text ends and one where the text begins. You can see that it begins there. When I click this keyframe, it shows it ending there. So now that that's done, let's click and play to see what our text looks like. And we just start right before the text. And I'm going to drag this so that it shows the full time that we've uh, selected. And we'll click play. And here comes our text right there. Now the slowness of the text has to do with the duration that you set in the generated media. That's a little bit slow, so to speed that up, I just click Generated Media here. And I'm going to change the um, keyframe, move it a little bit closer. And you can see that keyframe is down there. Now what that means is it's going to move faster across the screen. Again, we can test that. And you can see that it's moving a little bit faster across the screen. Because it is a little difficult to, to read, you may want to put background behind that. To do that, we go to Media Generators, and on the Media Generators, we select Solid Color. We can select any color we want. Let's select Red. We'll bring it right there. Let's close this window. We want the red to last as long as the text. Uh, you may want to just do a little fade in, and a fade out right there. Now, you notice that it fills the full screen, including our background image. Now, if we want the background image to show, we've got to make our red bar behind it a lot smaller. It's easy to do. You go to Event Pan and Crop. On Event Pan and Crop, you make sure you've turned off the lock aspect ratio. You see that's turned on. We're going to turn it off. You make sure you turn off Maintain Aspect, and you make sure you turn off Stretch to Fill Frame. And then you just drag this down to the size you want, and you've got it. And when we click Play, and there's our text coming across the screen. It's pretty easy to do once you understand the use of keyframes. Now, what I recommend is that you save your project often because this does put a big strain on your CPU because every single frame has movement in it and that text has to be scrolling across the screen. 
Anyway, I thought you might be interested in knowing how to do this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.